everybody, it's Eva here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new Sims 4 speed build. And this one's gonna be a long one because we are building three New York brownstone townhouses. It's been way too long since I've built anything New York related because if you've been on my channel before, you know I love New York and New York architecture and townhouses and like brownstone vibes in general. It's been definitely time for another New York townhouse build and as per usual like I said we are building three and furnishing three so do grab a snack and settle in because we will be here for, for a little bit. Um, but yeah one of the uh, main inspirations for um, this New York build specifically was a new set by Charlie Pancakes which was released um, which is the maple and construction windows part two. Um, those are beautiful sash windows in all sizes and shapes and everything and there are some rounded ones as well. So um, not only are there the, the classic sash windows but also rounded um, arched windows which instantly screamed like New York to me and I instantly was like yes this this needs a full New York townhouse build and yeah that's why exactly what I did. I started off with the middle townhouse which has pretty much um, mostly the the rounded windows with a couple of um, rectangular ones but yeah the, the main feature of that house are the round ones um, for which I decided to create like a really really immensely high detailed um, kind of surrounding. I really wanted the windows to pop and in order to do that I uh, decided to go with some trims and wall decorations mostly from Felix's Schwerin set as well as the like colonial set and like Felix's um, exterior trims and bits and bobs for exteriors are just to die for and endlessly versatile so yeah like I said I'm using the Schwerin set um, which is usually like for, for huge castles and grand castles um, and they work perfectly fine here because the the New York architecture style is so like versatile and so detailed there's so many different little details um, that yeah just really work brilliantly here so uh, I used a lot of trims and arches to kind of enhance the rounded shape of the windows and then there's also like columns and um, other trims to kind of make the build have a little bit more depth um, and come to life in a way and I really I love that middle one with because of the windows there it's definitely my favorite one um, and I went for three different colors as well so the middle one is a beige one then we have a black one and a terracotta one on the side and obviously I had to have those colors be reflected on the interiors so the interiors match the exterior colors um, quite well and I really hope you'll you'll like how these um, turn out because I'm actually excited to to have you guys see all of the different interiors and different styles and everything but before we go into the interior um, there's just a couple more things I want to say about the exteriors because um, two of the houses have a bay window situation so like brownstone houses very often have um, partly bay window situations or like the whole building is a um, has a bay window side so I did like one of each um, and then one that hasn't got any bay windows so we've got very big variety of different types of brownstones and then also one of them the terracotta colored one is overgrown in ivy which you can often see in like Brooklyn brownstone townhouses um, very very um, pretty and like whimsical um, buildings there with all the ivy it just looks so 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 gorgeous um so yeah I kind of wanted to um bring a little bit of greenery in as well um in the big concrete jungle in a way and speaking of like concrete uh, jungle I love that brown houses are so not like city buildings that you would expect like the no skyscrapers no like ultra modern uh, buildings or anything they're these old history um filled buildings which I think is so 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 in interesting and impressive um, and to see all the different features of architecture is heaven to me um, and of course to create like a little bit of an interest at the back um, I did incorporate a lot of modern details so um, I imagine these townhouses are very very expensive and have probably been renovated for millions and millions of simoleons so one of the buildings for example has a beautiful modern glass extension and um, then the other one has beautiful glass doors that lead onto 
the terrace. Um, and the other one has beautiful tall arched windows, which probably originally wouldn't have been in the house, but have been put in afterwards. So yeah, a little bit more of a modern touch at the back, which is usually what I go for just because it's very, very typical New York. If you have a look at like the back sides of most of these um, townhouses and brownstones, they're usually really, really, really gorgeous and modernized. And I really hope that you like these uh, brownstone style townhouses um, and that you were enjoying watching this video, um, which I mean, if you are, then please um, hit that like button down below and also subscribe if you're new around here. Um, that would really mean a lot um, and really supports me as well. Um, but yeah, let's move on into the interior of the first townhouse. So because we obviously are furnishing three townhouses, um, that might be one of the reasons why um, this video is a lot longer, but um, I hope you stick around for all three to like see the differences between them. And then you can also tell me which townhouse is your favorite um, in the comments down below once you've finished watching the video. I would really love to know um, and see how many people side with my favorite or whether you like a completely different one. But yeah, let's move on to into the interior like I promised. I'm waffling away already, but at least I have 20 minutes for this video, so cut me some slack. <laughs> um, but yeah, the first townhouse is super, super light and neutral. I went for a super bright look with um, light brown um, and white and kind of beige slash slight peach tones in a way sometimes in order to not have it look like it's all like samesy samesy so um yeah it's a little bit of a, of a mix but i went for a beautiful chevron flooring by peacemaker which i discovered recently and i'm absolutely obsessed with it's so so pretty um and then some walls are by the octave set by harry absolutely beautiful as well use them in probably almost every build ever since they came out um and in the living room i wanted to create like a really open feeling while still having um, closed off rooms. So we have these beautiful huge doorways which are from the Ojanic set by Felix and Harry um, and they lead from one room to the next to kind of create a bit of a flow um, while still having um, kind of the intimacy of a smaller um, cl more closed off room. Um, and that living room is inspired by a Pinterest pin that I discovered um, of just such a beautiful brownstone style of interior and it was also perfect because these doorways that I used um, have the, the this arch like rounded shape that kind of ties in with the rounded shape of the windows that I just told you about and in general I really wanted to incorporate a lot of this mixture of rounded and square or rectangular throughout this build um, mostly in this uh, specific house but in in pretty much all of the, the houses but this one has the most focus on it because it obviously has the the big focus with the the rounded arched windows so i i like drizzled some bits and bobs here for example the fireplace is super detailed super old-fashioned and and rounded details and very romantic in a way um and then you have like artwork that is very rectangular and the mirror that is rounded again and then we have the the lamp that has a lot of rounded um, elements to it um so yeah in that way kind of combining um those two um very contrasting shapes in a way just to tie in with with the windows but i really love the end result and it was like a fun challenge to to incorporate more rounded shapes in in this interior um so for example the dining table is round the pendant light above the dining table is also round um then you have the square bookshelves behind and and so on and so forth in general in this build there's also a lot of black accents so a lot of lights um specifically uh candle holders those little li little bits um are kept in black as well to tie in a bit more of a, a dark color. That townhouse is also the only one that has a little terrace. Um, like I said, one of them has an extension and just one of them doesn't have a garden. Um, but yeah, that one has a little terrace. And then probably my favorite bedroom out of the three. I really am obsessed with this bedroom so much with the fireplace there and the the bed, the the kind of coziness of it all. Um, and also the, the little radiators with windowsills, which I added in every Every single room of this building. Um, they're such a cute little detail and they're very realistic because these radiators are often found underneath the windows and there are usually windowsills in any kind of apartment or house or anything. So um, yeah, I really love adding those little little touches to make it more cozy and like cluttering up those windowsills obviously adds a huge um, 
coziness factor to the whole build and honestly like just playing with um pillows and blankets and stuff for the bedding um is so much fun and it adds um, another factor of like coziness and then from this bedroom leading on into the bathroom um again one of those huge archways um and kind of connects the two rooms in a way which i think feels really intimate in a way but at the same time like spacious and and grand and elegant and then there's also a cute little office upstairs um as well as a nursery so the the office is kind of like an open space it's not like closed off or has its own um, room it's super open and um really really pretty in a way um and then um, on that same floor is the nursery so um the nursery uh, is really cute as well i used a wallpaper from the tiny traveler set by felix and harry which is like among my favorite wallpapers ever um and then the crib by sixem which is from the kids bedroom set it's like the most realistic um crib style i've seen so far in terms of cc um and i really really love using it because it's such a statement piece which usually the crib is in a nursery and then again like in terms of the the round versus the the rectangular shapes here i did um use a wardrobe or slash bookshelf by my shuno son which has like both features in it and it's so pretty and kind of so artsy in a way um i really loved using it in this build and in like two of the three houses i think i use this because it's it's just um connecting the two worlds so perfectly but yeah let's move on to the second townhouse which is the terracotta colored one um from the exterior and the interior so on the interior i decided to go for black wooden floors and then obviously a terracotta colored wallpaper because like i said i wanted to tie in the colors of the exterior Areas, um, on the interior as well and the black floors just did it for me I think they were like the the thing that kind of pointed all direction at the terracotta and and the interior as well and doesn't take away from the interior and for the interior so the kitchen I decided to go for the octave kitchen which I love using because of this um, top oven situation I really really enjoy using that in in so many kitchens because it's such a realistic kitchen look um, so here I went for a kind of brown it's not really proper terracotta it's like a brown a metal color with white countertops to um, kind of make it not as dark with too much black because we also have black window shutters on the interior instead of um curtains for most of the rooms and then the white of the countertops kind of makes this kitchen be the focal point of this room i did add a lot of um realistic clutter like um there's like a little cake that's just been left out on the counter it's more like a staged look for the kitchen which i really enjoy doing um and like mugs everywhere coffee makers um that sort of stuff i really enjoy doing that and then the dining room is a really really gorgeous room because of the the huge arched windows that i talked about they're by charlie pancakes um they just let in so much light while looking so like artsy and really really gorgeous and for the furniture i did use a lot of the brownstone set by harry just because obviously it's made for brownstone townhouses and brownstone um types of builds so it did fit the aesthetic that i was going for this brownstone um brooklyn slash new york uh aesthetic very very well um the table for example and the sideboard i love that sideboard two bits i really really love that like old-fashioned look um and then also the sofas here are from the brownstone set by harry and they i don't know they just were a really artsy focal point of the living room because the living room um I went for a very minimal style here um there's a huge um focal wall as well with the fireplace which is from the octave set by harry it's like a floating really modern um fireplace which i love um and then those like beautiful um pictures on the side framing it creates this really stunning feature wall and then the bedroom again a really really love this bedroom i think in general all of these bedrooms are very similar in style but they all have like their own character because of the colors and because of different um vibes that i went for um like the first one was very very cozy and cluttered the second one is a bit more curated in a way um but still like it's just a cozy overall cozy vibe that i really enjoy about creating these new york townhouses because usually in new york nothing's very big and like rooms are rather 
small. So yeah, there's a lot of details in very small spaces, which I just really um, love creating, honestly. Um, and here again, we have a um, walkthrough from the bedroom to another room, but here it's not the bathroom. I decided to create a little interior designer's office because I mean, who wouldn't want to be an interior designer in New York living in a brownstone? <laughs> the dream, the little notes and photos and stuff that I pinned on this um, kind of pin board in a way um, are by Ravachine. Um, they're like paint swatches, colour swatches, um, fabric swatches, kind of it, it really, really cute little things for a mood board for an interior designer, which uh, made this perfect. Um, and I really wanted to create like a little designer space to just give the offices a little bit more of a character of the people who might live here. Um, if you have the dream home decorator pack by um, from The Sims, then you can pretend like this is your office um, for um, working on your interior design. So yeah, um, uh, and then there's also a kids room, which is um, I think my favorite kids room out of the three, just because of the colors. I think that like warm terracotta color adds so much to a kids room. Um, kids rooms just feel so yeah, just really warm and inviting. Um, and the combination of the the, the little furnitures, um, for example, that little bear stool by Six of them, I love that so much. And then the art prints from the small set by Charlie Pancakes. Together, like they create like such a beautiful and cozy um, kids room vibe that I'm obsessed with that one, um, for sure. And then last but not least, the third townhouse, which is the black one, if you remember. So the black is um, on the exterior, like the predominant color and then I went for beige like light brown wood window frames so I wanted to tie that in and make um, the black a very consistent and main color in this interior so um, I didn't want to go for black floors again I went for light brown wood floors um, and then this really cool two-tone wallpaper which is by Felix I in general I love two-tone wallpapers I think they're so trendy at the moment and they look instantly like interior designery in a way. I don't know. I feel like they look really, really, really cool. Um, and then to tie in that black from that wallpaper, I um, used a lot of furniture in black, which I rarely ever do because black furniture kind of um, sets a mood for a room and it's hard to work with fully black furniture a lot of the time. Um, but for example, here I went for the slouch sofa by Charlie Pancakes in all black with then um, some beige colored pillows to kind of give that sofa a little bit of depth and also warm up the room as well. Um, and in general, I'd say this um, this townhouse is probably the most artsy in a way because I, I love that little touch that I added in the living room with a TV that is leaning on a, a painter's easel. I think that's such a cute, um, vibey and artsy touch and it makes me want to incorporate a TV, which I usually do not because TVs are just, oh, I don't know. Not for me, but um, I do love the one from the living room set by um, Felix and Harry because it doesn't look like a TV. It looks like it's a painting, which um, makes it perfect to be used in like designs for aesthetics. So yeah, I use that TV a lot um, just because I really love um, that it's a landscape shaped painting um, and it has really cool patterns on it that I like really wanted to use, even though it might not be used as a TV in most situations. Um, I just really love the art on it. So yeah, use the TV all over this um, house. But um, yeah, aside from that, uh, the kitchen that I went for is also black. Um, and I went for the mirror kitchen by Tuds, which is like a mirrored um, cabinet style, uh, which I really, really love. It's very, very pretty um, and very elegant. Like it instantly makes it feel very elevated and very glamorous. Um, and then I kind of contrasted the black with a white, really cool artsy island from the brownstone set by Harry. I really love that island so much and it's there's so many different swatches that you can use it even though it's like the same shape all the time you can make it like feel really versatile and different in every build just based on the swatches. But yeah there's that and then there's the glass extension that I talked about a little bit earlier. Um, so this building doesn't have a garden or anything it just has this beautiful glass extension with all the light flooding in uh, through the big windows um, and in there I decided to go for a dining room situation uh, with a huge dining table like it's a square dining table um, and like a really just a really 
very cozy vibe as well. Like I could imagine them just sitting there reading the newspaper and drinking their cup of morning coffee. Um, yeah, just really dreamy situation um, there. And then there is a bathroom for which I went for the, the typical like black and light brown style again um, with beautiful double sinks that are framed by huge, huge uh, glass cabinets um, with lots of bathroom clutter in them and then the beautiful freestanding bathtub from the bathroom set by Felix and Harry and yeah I'm afraid that is everything that I have for you guys today I, I mean it's been 20 minutes so <laughs> it's been a lot but I, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I can't wait to see you again next week with a brand new Sims 4 speed build bye